Good morning. <coughs> Woke up too late. It's like quarter two. Oh, you're buying that car? I seen that one around. All right, panic mode is over. They haven't started clearing this stuff out yet, which is what I didn't want to happen. But they got apples. Carol will like apples. I looked online for these. Because it would be amazing to have a couple of these at the cottage. And again, the industrial ones. Those are the coolest. Put a bit too much in. I only need about... that much. And the coolest waffle maker that we saw with you guys was in Texas. And it, the waffle was in the shape of Texas. That was awesome. So it takes about two th minutes and 30 seconds. I'm going to make two. Big jug of water here. Got my OJ. Got my two coffees. One done. Didn't put enough in. You can see a lot of holes. And I burnt my hand. I wasn't looking. Grabbed it. Hooked my hand on the wrong spot. I literally woke up like seconds ago. Okay, breakfast is all done. Carol went to do some shopping while I finished uploading the vlog from yesterday. I'm so glad it's like 14 megabytes a second because uh, if it was crappier internet, we'd be here all day. Juggling cameras, phones, and car card keys. I'm just waiting for Carol's text back. Okay, we are good to go. Carol's just grabbing her last couple things. I need like a bigger bag. So it's about six hours, five to six hours from here to Nashville. Okay, Carol's driving the first leg. First few hours, she'll probably drive till, I guess, brunch. Brunch? Lunch. We already ate breakfast, so we can't turn do Turn left brunch. and turn left. Second breakfast? Yeah. There was a waffle house at the Walmart exit that I went to. <gasps> she said the W word. I know. We just had turn waffles. Left Not that, turn left. that anything close to an actual waffle house waffle. Yeah. Waffle house waffle is the best. It's a very old station wagon mm. with crazy colors to it. Hmm. Okay, we'll see uh, in a bit at uh, probably a cracker burial. <laughs> about 67 kilometers or miles uh, north of uh, Cincinnati and that's like uh, almost a hundred kilometers so we're about an hour less than an hour away because we're doing like 70 75 miles an hour with everybody else and uh, so we'll be there we'll be at least through Cincinnati uh, right now it's gonna try to find a playlist because all the radio stations around here they only last like a couple minutes because you're, you're moving through and then you kind of lose signal. Uh, I guess we should get Sirius or what's it called? Yeah, Sirius? Sirius. Whatever. That yeah. radio, yeah, satellite radio. That would be a good thing to have. Uh, I just finished going through and responding to every single comment you guys left because they were brilliant, uh, supportive. We loved it. 
We loved all the joke ones that you guys liked Carol's and my jokes on things. So uh, yeah, I try to respond to every single person. I'm taking a break, I think I did it for an hour. At least I've been responding to everybody's comments. Uh, but uh, we love you guys for your support. I'm so glad you guys like the travel vlogs. I'm gonna try to make them as fun as possible. Somebody did mention, you know, have you ever thought about like taking a week off YouTube? And I just love doing this too much. It's too much fun. Some people like, and I, and I think I respond to that person. You know, some people like to go on vacation, sit on the beach, and read a book. I like to go on vacation and record everything, and then share it with you. That's what I like doing. Sitting on a beach, re reading a book, is torture. <laughs> that that would that would be more stressful uh, than than recording everything and, and editing it before I go to bed and uh, uploading it for you guys. I love doing this and I love the fact that you guys love watching it. So let's continue doing this. And again, thanks for your support through your comments, through watching all my vlogs, through thumbsing up every single vlog. Some people say thumbs it up before I even start watching it. Uh, leaving your comments, it so helps us to know what we're doing right, wrong. And uh, so we love you guys for that. And again, I've left a comment in the last video. If you want to be a part of these vlogs, do that. That's the first thing you can do for us. Last thing you can do, if you can afford it, is help us out on Patreon. And uh, that will go towards these travel vlogs. And I keep telling Carol, I said, if, I, if you want to be in these more, I said, right from the beginning, I said, if you, Megan, Ben, and I loved being in the videos all the time i said this tra channel vlog or this uh, family vlog channel would take off it would skyrocket when it's just me in the living most days yeah you know people come by they look at it and they're like yeah this isn't fun at all so but we could just, and i keep telling carol imagine if the, the vlog channel took off and overtook the big channel where i literally stopped doing food reviews on the big channel and did travel vlogs and food reviews on this channel like the food review would become part in one and a half kilometers keep of left. the travel vlog so it wouldn't be just like a ken dong's food review and that's it on the big channel it would just be part of the vlog so wherever we ate we would vlog it tell you guys what we like what we didn't like uh although that would be considered whining <laughs> just in case you haven't read the comments on my last video when i complained about popeyes Thing. I was being I was being really respectful on that video I think you know I, I complained about it and then I told Popeyes how to fix the problem so I wasn't saying Popeye sucks and I'll never eat there again why would I do that anyway so we're just coming up to Dayton Ohio we're just passing under the bridge lots of people have also commented saying oh you just passed where I lived or my cousin lives right down the street from where your hotel is and you know there are people in Toledo people in Finley and probably chances are there's people here in Dayton that watch the videos and Cincinnati so again thank you very much but if again if you want to be even that next step more part of the vlogs hit up the patreon you can donate anything from a dollar to whatever you can afford if you can't afford it just keep watching our videos I'm not forcing anybody who doesn't want to do that to do that so don't don't think that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to subsidize the travel vlogs because I can't afford to do travel vlogs all the time. Uh, this is just, this is literally our vacation and I want to make this into a cool travel vlog so you guys can get a good taste that we want to do more. So uh, so I want you guys to be a part of it. Putting you guys in the, in the credits is uh, a, an honor for me to share you guys with the people that watch the travel vlogs. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. 10 to 12, and we're just passing through Dayton, Ohio. It is quarter after 12 now. We're entering the outskirts of Cincinnati and uh, we'll show you around this place too.
just passed over into Kentucky uh, after Cincinnati, got across the bridge, and uh, there was sensory overload because there was so much stuff to shoot. There was a stadium and there was a bridge. <coughs> and they gotta shoot sideways, you gotta shoot forward. I need more cameras. And then Carol said, oh, look at the blooms. And then I realized I wasn't recording. And so I had to do this whole thing over again. Three times, actually. This is the third time I recorded that one sentence. One paragraph. Damn it. Anyway, so we're going to stop in about 45 minutes to an hour uh, for lunch at the Cracker Barrel. Uh, we'll get, uh, Virginia, we'll get your bread on the way back. We're not going to get it on the way down, obviously. That would be dumb. Uh, and then we'll be off to Nashville. So let's keep going. Grab some lunch in an hour, and uh, we'll see you at Cracker Barrel. Cool? Cool. All right. All right. <clears throat> Carol's got to go, people. Don't get in the way. So we are in Dry Ridge, Kentucky. I'm going to have to get my jacket out because you can't lock it. It's over there. All right. Ladies. Oh, i got to get my phone. Uh. seat here we ordered our food uh, this location for some reason doesn't have uh, milkshakes but I am 100% sure every single location I have ever been to and we've been to a lot of locations they've always had the chocolate milkshake super thick whipped cream cherry uh, I've posted pictures of it many times on my Instagram uh, but for some reason they don't have them here and they even have the same would be in the same thing but right now I'm doing like a raspberry uh, raspberry lemonade and it tastes like a thawed cold freezy it's like really sweet sour and thick like syrup almost but Carol did the bean soup vegetable soup and it smells really good uh, I did the uh, my, my typical every time I visit here. If, if we were to eat here uh, again at dinner, I would change it up. But right now, because uh, it's been so long since I've had the uh, sourdough bread, chicken tenderloin, and their fries, uh, I'm going to be doing that. What did you order? Sandwich. Oh, right. Uh, no pickles. And apparently this location, or all the locations, are getting rid of the pickle. Way to go. Our meals finally got here. Carol went for a walk though. <laughs> and I had to like text her to come back. So that is the chicken down here that we asked for no pickles, but restaurants get into a momentum and they, they still put pickles on one of ours, which is kind of funny that they didn't put it on the other one. So uh, anyway, so that's it. Nice red tomatoes, lettuce, huge. French fries. I guess that's called the uh, steak cut fries. And Carol got the same thing. Looks good. Uh, this is better for you than the deep fry, but the deep fry is still good too. I've already taken a couple bites. Carol's back finally, but I don't want her to have to hold the camera because the food's too good. You can't just stop eating. Mm. Grilled tenderloin. Juicy uh, tomatoes, lots of lettuce, mayo, and the sourdough grilled bread, which is what really makes a sandwich go through the roof. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next time you're out and about and you want a really good sandwich. It was not expensive, I think it's like six bucks. I think. I'll tell you the bill when we're done. So two sandwiches, soup, 
fries, uh, and then just the one drink. Carol just had water, so. Have a good lunch. My favorite part of this place, open fireplace in the middle of a restaurant. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, so it cost us $21.17. I gave Chris three bucks for a tip. Yeah, the raspberry thing was a $2.79. I would not recommend it again. All right, we're all fueled up stomach-wise. I think we need gas, you said? Yeah. We're just checking out the chairs. Uh, again, somebody's donated a chair to, to us. I'm not allowed to say who. Sorry. And, uh, they asked to be anonymous, but they really wanted to buy us a chair. And uh, so it was donating basically to Carol for her birthday. It was a birthday gift from uh, an awesome subscriber of ours from the West Coast. That's all I'm going to say. I can't say anymore. <clears throat> Long time follower, subscriber, supporter. And I uh, wanted to do us uh, a solid and get Carol a rocking chair that we've always wanted. So very nice and thank you very much. You know who you are. You know who you are. All right. But we're going to, uh, on the way home, we're going to see if we can get one of the unassembled ones, jam it in the back somehow. Uh, it'll fit. I'm pretty sure it'll fit in here. And, we'll uh, make it fit. Yeah, we'll make it fit. And uh, if not, then we'll just, we'll have them deliver it. But it should fit. All right, run away. So we're at uh, Speedway, Speedway Gas. It's a, a 208.9. Hopefully I can do this again. Insert and remove quickly. Don't ask me any silly questions. Just let me gas up. Definitely have to get a car wash before we hit Florida because this is disgusting. Reinsert card, lift nozzle. Nozzle tough. Nozzle tough. All right, so we're good to, good to go. Begin fueling. It's hard to believe that a uh, few people have said that uh, Knoxville is getting hit by heavy snow and Nashville is getting like a light flurry snow thing. And uh, but it's hard to believe because it's like not that cold right now. It's not warm, but it's not cold. Keep filling up. 1750. Well done. People are waiting. Must be really cheap gas. It's busy. Super busy here. Alright. Let's get out of here. Start the car. Start the engines, man. Kick the tires and light the fires. I feel the need for speed. that we've uh, passed a time zone. We're in central time zone, so uh, we, we kind of gained an hour, which is good. We wanted to get, I personally wanted to get to Nashville by three, so we could hook, get into our hotel, go have dinner uh, in downtown Nashville, and then start basically bar hopping. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, so I'm just glad that we we gained an hour. I totally forgot about the hour difference. Anyway, so we are 118 kilometers away from Nashville. We're supposed to get there at 4.46. So that'll give us lots of time to get into a hotel room, freshen up, and then go into town. Just passed over into Tennessee. We have 61 kilometers to go. It says we should arrive at five o'clock. And uh, is that the address for the first hotel that we put in there, or, or the new one? Um, the first one. The first one. We just kind of like randomly picked a hotel. Excuse me. And uh, just because the GPS we had put in originally the address to Florida, and it made us go. 
made us start going a different route, and so we realized our mistake. And because uh, we were thinking that the route was going to take us right through Nashville, but it was taking us a different route. Anyway, so we just tied out a quick pit stop and we grabbed some chips, a Coke, yum yums, and uh, pulled these up. And uh, those chips, <laughs> the Lay's, I didn't know Lay's made kettle cooked chips with jalapeno, and they're really good. I say they're as good. They're as good or better than Mitch Vicky's. I'd buy these or Mitch Vicky's. So that's how good those are. All right. So I got some more chips. Nice. Because the other bag somehow disappeared. The belly. The belly. All right, let's go. Made it to Nashville. Uh, we're just looking for a hotel. There's another quality and we found uh, just north of the city. And uh, so we're gonna unpack, freshen up, and then zip into town. I think first things first is the Ryman, Ryman Theater. And then from there, uh, who knows? The free for all. If you remember, when Paul and I came here, this is America's Best Value Inn. I'm just gonna check to see if they have any rooms here because they're like way cheaper. Uh, the other place was 125. This place is. Hello. Do you have any rooms available? We are in 213. And uh, the door is like stuck on something. It wouldn't open. I'm like, oh, and by the time I try to open, it locked again. So, uh, no, light works good. Good light. It's cold in here too, man. Definitely what nobody's been in here for a little bit. Not bad. Two towels. I just wanted a rim. She's like, two doubles? I'm like, whatever. Just give me the room. Just need the room. Anyway, so uh, we're just gonna relax for a minute and then we're gonna get either an Uber or a taxi and then get down there. And hopefully the Ryman Center is open. Hi, welcome. Okay, we're just waiting for our Uber to take us to Tootsie's. And uh, let's see, yeah, that's 2306 Howard Johnson's. Uh, he's apparently coming up the ramp now. You should be able to see us. Let's move down closer to the thing. You'll probably realize. So, as you can see, it's getting darker and the city is coming to life with the lights. And uh, yeah, this will be fun. Okay, we uh, got in our Uber. Uh, our driver today is Antonio. How are you, sir? I am doing good. Excellent. And we are driving in a uh, Kia, what? Optima. Optima, right. And uh, he was just giving us some warnings about being picked up later on tonight on Broadway could be a chaos thing because my he tried to phone me when he first arrived and he came in a different driveway we were standing in the driveway but he came in a different driveway and uh but he said because he couldn't phone me like it was almost like a, a screw up so i have to uh, pay attention more to my phone i was actually t texting somebody at the moment but uh but what was going on this weekend or something was there some type of uh, sec basketball tournament oh okay so they taken over the the hockey arena? They took over Bridgestone Arena and parts of downtown. Okay. So Broadway has two blocks closed between 4th and 6th, I believe, is what's closed. And are you a uh, local for life? or? Have I you... am a transplant. You're a transplant from where? <laughs> from New Hampshire. New Hampshire, nice. I've been to New Hampshire. Beautiful rock climbing. There is quite a bit of that. Yes, been there, done that. And so that you've only done one move from New Hampshire to here? I've moved a lot. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for moving here and picking us up. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Right before.
or fifth on Broadway. Okay. And they should know. Thank you very much, yeah. sir. Thank you. Have a great night. See ya. All right. This is the Bridgestone Arena. Have a good night. Bye. He might pick us up later. You never know. So they've closed down. There's a big uh, basketball tournament that's happening like every two hours. There's a game. Mm -hmm. And uh, you didn't leave anything in the car? No. Your cable's hanging out. Yeah, it's fine. My cable's hanging out. Ooh la la. Either we, I think we should go to the Ryman Center just in case we don't want to miss if they close it too early or something. So this is Broadway, the main street down uh, downtown Nashville. And this is Legends, and then Tootsie's is there. This is the one where I think my dollar bill is. So it looks like a lineup. Let's go this way. So they're only open till 4 p.m. I, didn't, I had no idea. I should have looked it up, but uh, not that. This was like the main thing we wanted to go to. Uh, I just wanted to walk down broad, Broadway with uh, my lovely wife. And, uh, but I also wanted her to see this because to me, this was one of the coolest things that we saw when we were down here. So 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, just in case she wanted to come down here. So this is a famous Tootsie's. Let me take inside. these bars have multiple floors. So there's a live band floor. A live band floor. We got beer ladies everywhere. There's no shortage of beer. We're here and there's a, a band playing out there. And it's very cool. Some girl at the bottom of the stairs, she's like, it's my birthday. Can I have a drink of your beer? I said, no. She's like, what? Can you a drink of my beer? Not when my wife's around. Jeez. It's Saturday night. It better get rowdier than that. That's all I can say. Check. One, two. Check. One, two. One, two. Can I get a hell yeah? Perfect. That sounds good to me. All right, you guys ready for some music out there Saturday night? You want to get this thing kicked off? Well, Lady, Lady A to get things started here. Second floor. Carol's like, don't go outside. We might not get back in. So how was how was your first honky tonk? Yeah. Crazy, eh? Some girls just like took Carol and started dancing. And she wouldn't let go. Carol tried. And then, he I'm, I'm then, then Carol tased. Carol tased. Her. Wow, eh? <laughs> Trying to get out of that room. <laughs> Crazy. Carol wants something to eat. Well, we went to this place uh, somewhere down here, barbecue. It's supposed to be like the best barbecue around down here. Picture time. I treat Carol to Jack's, which is the barbecue place since 1976. And the best thing here is the Texas beef brisket. That's what I had last time I was here, I believe, and it was amazing. So it's $5.99. 
Jack's Beef Brisket, $5.99. Just one. Just want the sandwich. I don't want anything else. You also, you can buy it by the pound. Uh, you can also buy it by the plate or the jumbo. I'm just going to do a sandwich. Waiting in line for a bit, but I have to go to the washroom real bad. And the lineup hasn't moved at all, really. <laughs> Slow service, but it's good. Oh. Been here half an hour. Finally got to the ordering area. There's the food. Lineup is just as long as when we first started. I went with the brisket plate, so it's brisket with two sides. Carol went with the rib plate and two sides. So just gotta wait until people move ahead of us. Then we can eat. Hi, could I do uh, the mac and cheese and the uh, mashed potatoes and gravy, please? Thank you. So after you get your food, after you pick your size, then you get your drink, you pay for it, and then they have a whole bunch of choices of sauces that you can dip your food in. All right, guys, got my food. There's my brisket, taters, mac and cheese, cornbread, Bud Light. And Carol got the ribs. Uh, I don't know, she went with beans. So she's going to be sleeping in a different hotel room. <laughs> All right, let's eat. I thought I'd show you quick taste test of the brisket sandwich. Oh man, of the brisket. It took a while for us to get it, so it's not super hot anymore. Smoky, flaky. Do it, Carol. Carol did a couple sauces. She's going small, cutting in half. Come on. The whole world is waiting. Nice and smoky, eh? Let's so go and get it now. All right, guys, we're all done. Uh, I'd like to uh, make a new decision on the food. The brisket is okay. The ribs are twice as good as the brisket. So if you ever come down to Jack's Barbecue, I totally recommend the ribs way more than the brisket. Just to give you a heads up, the battery on this camera is almost dead. So I might have to flip over to my iPhone eventually, but we're gonna head down past Second Fiddle, past Tootsies, to Legends, to see if my dollar is still on the wall. Grab a beer and uh, take some more pictures. Show you around a bit. Made it down to Legends. Just to check if my dollar bill is on the wall. It wasn't Legends that Paul and I put a dollar on the wall. I'm thinking it might be that. No, it's not Tootsies. I think it's a second fiddle. Honky Tonk. Possibly. The bar was on the right side. Yeah, I think it was this one. We're going from bar to bar. Looking for a dollar bill. Apparently, Taylor Swift is in this building. Is she singing, performing? There's the, there's the dollar wall. Uh, they took, I think they took a dollar down. So this is the wall of dollars. We're in Roberts. I can't, remember, I can't remember where I put my dollar. I think it was over there, but it's gone now. Hello. Taylor Swift wasn't there, uh, or we couldn't see her. She could have been sitting down. She could have had a wig on, something. But we couldn't see her. There's the Honky Tonk Central. That's how we'd walk back to our hotel. But that's a three-story uh, tall bar. There's Mark, Jimmy's Margaritaville. We're just gonna walk down. 
Broadway and uh, see what else is new. This is the east end of, or the end, the end of Broadway. So there's the buildings, flags, all up uh, Broadway. This is the uh, the moving bar, the cycling bar, pedal bar, pedal ta pedal tavern. It's called right. And there's the Acme. One of uh, this, my subscribers told us eat, or at least go and have their drink there. So this is the uh, the river that flooded. Can't remember the exact year, but this whole area was underwater. So apparently up to the top of this either the top of the flagpoles or the top of these light posts that this was all underwater when they had a huge flood here way long time ago that's the football stadium that's pedestrian bridge looks like it's a little flooded at the moment we're now in Acme's live band big building this is where we were when uh, the Blue Jays lost I can't remember who they were playing. I don't really care who they were playing. But we lost to whoever it was. What up, Happy PC? We are the Aqueducts from right here. This all down the block. What's wrong with your hearing? <laughs> I can't hear I can't, anything. I can't hear anything. Thank you, Acme, for the hearing loss. The band was freaking amazing. And. That's one of the things I, I told Carol. I said, it's not all country music. Sometimes there are a band like that that did like 70s types music. And it was great. And, and the fact that it was like what? A 10 piece band? And this is rock bottom. We are all done in downtown Nashville. Had a lot of good times. Met a, met a woman from uh, who used to live in Alaska, and she said she's never seen. She's she's met more Canadians working in Nashville than she has ever met when she lived in Alaska. Thinking that because she's so far up north that there'd be a lot of Canadians up there. I'm like, no, Canadians don't want to go to Alaska for like a vacation. They want to go south. So you'd meet more people in the south. And Nashville is just a rocking, amazing town. Amazing music. Good beer. <coughs> Good food. Great people. Uh, but we're all done. We're heading back home. I'm not sure what time it is right now, but. 10. 10? 10? Yeah, it's gonna take us like a half an hour to get our ride home. Relax start editing for you guys but uh, we will see you again I did a little Instagram live show from one of the bars hope you guys saw it that'd be so cool anyway good night ladies and gentlemen good night.